A very, very common thing that I see is people who think that the French destroyers are made to gunboat. And to an extent, they are. They have the terrifying burst power or burst DPM that they get from having their main battery reload booster. But at the same time, they ignore the fact that your sustained DPM is absolute fucking dog ass. Uh, if you look right here, you have a 7.6 second reload. And I believe that is with the, uh, that's literally with the reload module. So your base reload is even worse than that. And the entire thing that the French destroyers excel at is either assassination squads where you have a division of like three of them or in like clan battles you have like two or three of them plus a small end or a ragnar or even a fucking radar yu yang something to spot for them and then you have three reload boosters plus whatever the spotter is so that so that's their main uh, use case as far as like gunpower goes. They specialize in picking a very short gunfight with a destroyer or in an assassination squad with three of them. But one destroy one French destroyer on its own is not very scary because if you look at it, like I already mentioned, you have a 7.6 reload and you only have four reload boosts that have a minute and a half cooldown. And are only active for 15 seconds anyway. So you get one minute of actual reload boost per game. And then you have 19 minutes where you're just like, you have fuck all for DPM. So as far as like just random game open water farming, you can do far better. Just play the fucking Russians. Uh, or even certain fucking... Uh, Certain other ones, like the Japanese Harigamo line, will do you nicely for farming. Uh, I already mentioned the Russians. If you want to get, like, a uh, steel ship, you can get Ragnar. If you want to get Research Bureau, you can you get the Vampire. And any one of those will do far better than the French Destroyers, on average, for open water farming. Or just farming in general, really. And that's just the uh, DPM coming into play. The fact that all of those ships have much better sustain. Uh, well, first of all, sustain in general. But also sustain DPM in uh, having a much, much lower base reload. Also, I capped that completely contested, by the way. Uh, what did I spot there? That was the Colorado. If this black can radar the Friesland if he tries to ram his head into the island, I can assassinate him with my reload booster maybe question mark if he's like right there which he is well there's two of them there which figures they are in a div after all And that Gronigan is about to leave radar range, but I want to get uh, as much damage on him as possible. Stupid island. And hello? What was that dispersion? The fucking... Gronigan was stationary and the fucking shells missed by the way is that good or like no all right whatever uh these guys are all gonna be able to take care of uh that Gronigan. i'm not worried about him so let's go farm a secure sarge in a colorado maybe i mean if i had a better shot i would have done a lot more to those guys but the fucking island cucked me a little bit there. Uh, and also there was that stupid uh, dispersion for that one shot, but whatever. The other use case for this reload booster is getting permafires. 
So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get a fire going on this Colorado like that. He's tier seven, so it wasn't very hard. And as soon as he uh, DCPs it, I'm gonna wait for it to expire. I'm gonna reload booster him and set him on fire or double fire again. Or try to anyway, although he is turning away because he's a fucking little bitch. And there's the double. He is just letting him burn though. Alright. He's just gonna let them burn. I'm just gonna turn my attention to this cure sarge. There's the Colorado. It looks like he did not DCP. Okay. I say that these ships aren't good at open water farming, and I maintain that they aren't, and I've already explained all my reasons for saying so. They can do it, and I'm not saying that they can't, but I'm just saying that's not what they're best at. Because the real strength of these French destroyers is in their speed and their ability to uh, reload booster down a fucking destroyer or something if there's like three of them and plus a radar ship like a Smalland or a Ragnar or Yu Yang. Like, gang squads like those and trying to get permafires like this Kearsarge right here is uh, where these French destroyer reload boosters are best at. And that Kearsarge is now on a double fire. That's an H.E. Leon, by the way. Gronigan's fucking off, so I'm not too worried about him. This Leon is tier 7, so... Although I'm bad at aiming. He's slowing down. Is that... He's on... Yeah, he's on a double fire now. Go. It's accelerating. And he DCP'd that. So once again, we're gonna rinse and repeat. Well, I don't have my reload boost, so we're gonna get this guy on fire once, and then we're gonna turn our attention back to the Colorado. Sleon is tier 7, so we should be getting a fire in sh relatively short order here. Here we go. Mr. Gronigan, you, sir, are really annoying. He did get hammered. Actually, we're gonna AP this man. We love aiming bugs, by the way. There we go. That's the dispersion I'm talking about. And I, I highlighted this in a previous video with the... Uh, I think it was literally yesterday's video with the whole aiming dispersion bug being a thing. When the game thinks you're not locked onto a target even when you are. I think, I honestly think that's what happened with that, uh, Gronigan at the start there. Uh, the one that was, like, right there that I was bitching about. Uh, I honestly think that's probably what, uh, happened there. Fletcher and K and Cossack are gonna be an issue. Leon, I'm not worried about. Uh, the rune can be annoying, but shouldn't be too bad. Kier Sarge is uh, not going to be a problem, He's because he's just going to play uh, his CV game back there. And there's a submarine. That is interesting. 
I'm just gonna put make a wish torps out here. You never know your luck. These that I have uh, dev struck some submarines before uh, with torps because they were at periscope depth and they got hit in the conning tower or something. But. For right now, I'm going to turn my attention to this Leon. We're going to remove his guns from the board. And like I said earlier, he's tier 7, so he's going to burn. He's also going to flood. And he's probably going to die to that. Yeah. Yeah. I say that these ships aren't good at open water farming, and here I am doing, like, literally exactly that. But this is a, a bit of a special case, because this team is just, like, this enemy team, more specifically, is just especially bad, and is just letting me get away with this shit. We're just gonna reload booster this man with armor piercing. Never mind, there's a fucking Fletcher, like, right there. Mm, actually, yes, mind. We're going to shoot at the Cossack now. I have to re-lock onto him, because we love aiming bugs here. Try to ninja the kill on the, uh... Nagata with armor piercing didn't happen, but whatever. Guess we're gonna have to settle for this Cossack. This Kearsarge is gonna commit die via getting rammed by a Kronstadt. And the game, we won the game, so oops. Uh, that kind of was not how I thought that was going to go, but we'll take it, I guess. We take those. So, whatever. That is going to be enough World of Warships for today. I am tired, and I didn't really demonstrate exactly what I wanted to, which was... Uh, fucking chainsawing people with the rain battery reload booster, especially chainsawing destroyers, but whatever. Uh, another day, I guess. So, that is going to be enough for today. Um, I don't really have anything else to say, so that's it. I will see you tomorrow.